So we got a new pet and she needed a pet bed. So let's get started. So I'm using an old pillow that I had. I didn't really use it because it was, you know, kind of a cheap pillow and just some fabric that I had around. It's a thick type fabric. So what I'm doing is just trying to get a measurement to see how big I need the fabric to cover the pillow. So I just folded it over to see. And I came up with um, about 25 inches to about 40 inches so 40 inches long 25 inches wide is what I came up with and then you just fold that in half and you can leave the fold right there and then you're gonna sew along the short sides and halfway across the long side so that I can still have space to fit the pillow in when I'm done so this is real simple and you can use this to cover any pillow if you don't need it to be removable so i have the opening there turning it the right way and putting the pillow in and then once i do that i'm just trying to even out the stuffing and then i'm going to close it up you could also use batting and just fill an empty case that you make also you don't have to if you have no pillow this is a great way to reuse it to make a cute pet bed all right, so I close that up just by top stitching across and then I squish the pillow down as much as I could and I'm going to sew straight across leaving a little flap type thing up top because I wanted to make it like crown type princess thing because she's a little girl. All right, so what I'm doing is pinning. You can also use like some type of um, eraser or chalk to make just the outline for the crown shape at the top. All right, so I just start in one corner and just keep pivoting the case back and forth, leaving the needle down when I turn it to make the shape. Once I have the shape, then I'm going to cut just a smidge away from the line, the, um, what do you call it? The stitches. I'm going to cut just a little bit away from the stitches so that they don't come out. And then I got an embroidery needle. Um, you should use probably thicker thread. I just used regular thread that I had around, around the same color to make the little tufting detail. You can add additional tufting if you want. And what I did was just kept going back and forth through. I tied the knot and just kept pulling it to try to get it as tight and as close together to get the tufting detail as possible. I went around a few times and then once I got the desired tufting detail I wanted, I just tied it off. And then I said, okay, let's put a little button in there to finish it you don't have to use the button but i thought it was a cute finish and then i wanted the pieces to stand up if you wanted to you could put um cardboard in before you sew it down and get it stiff but um i didn't so what i'm just gonna do is tack them up so that they stay up and then you're basically done with it and it's a cute pillow and a cute diy so of course we have a ferret and she didn't want to stay still so um, you can see it's, she fits her real nice though, but she's very difficult to film. So we got a little stand in to show you, and this is bigger than her. She likes it. You sleeping, Bandy? She likes her bed. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.